Whenever we do a car or a controlled articular rotation of any joint that we're practicing with, there's two principles that we need to carry suit with as we are doing the movement. One is maintaining a stable base. I like to use the 20% stable base as our metric and to keep in our head as we're doing so. So act as if your feet are a base of a tree and you're maintaining a strong stable base with about 20%. 100% would be clenching down, trying to be as stable as possible. 20% is just keeping that feet in the ground, stable as you can for about 20% of the way. Second principle is whenever we're moving the joint in space, we want to act as if we're moving through 30% denser than air. So for the shoulder example, if I had negative density in the air, I would just whip around, whip around. 30% density is just a little bit thicker than air where it feels like I'm going against a little bit of resistance. So let's keep these two principles in mind and apply it to any joint as we move through. The hip car is by far one of the most important cars of the entire body. Our hips are meant to move and a lot of times throughout the day we're not moving them in the entire range of motion that it has the ability to. So we're here we'll have Blake grab onto a stable base, something that's around chest height, and we're going to have him bend the knee to start. Once the knee's bent, we're going to start by going into flexion and adduction. So the knee should be traveling about midline as you get to around 90 degrees or whatever your flexion range of motion is. Once you get here, you're going to keep the knee here and externally rotate the foot up. Holding that rotation, now you're going to come wide into abduction until you feel that hip start to move forward. Once you get here, you're going to keep the knee here and then internally rotate, bringing that foot wide to here and then back down to the side. To finish the car, we're going to go into abduction. So come out wide, good. Keep the knee here and go into external rotation. Keeping that rotation, let's going to go into flexion and adduction, keeping that foot high, keeping that foot high, and then back down to the side.